Hello guys, welcome back to Code with Maddie. And in this video, we are going to solve the uh, uh, Willis exam, uh, coding exam question. And this is the first question uh, in which we have to take input as a string, and it should have uh, at least it should contain at least one integer character, integer number. And uh, in for output, uh, we have to just uh, print the required value. For example, uh, this they have given input as one. This this in uh, string number of characters are sixteen. The length of this uh, string, not string, the length of this uh, characters up to a, from a to p, it is sixteen, and they have given at the end as a one. The only value is needed as a sixteen here, sixteen, because the length of this characters are sixteen. Uh, one is given. Only we have to uh, put six, or, uh, or we have to append the six at the last. So the output is six. For example, my uh, input is uh, a, b, c, d, and the uh, and zero. Then the length of this uh, a, b, c, d is four, and the last uh, character or we can say uh, last uh, number is zero. Then we we should print. Uh, it should be like a, b, c, d. Zero and four. The output should be four here. Uh, let's try to code. I'll uh, I'll explain there. Okay. 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 Uh, here. Uh, I'll uh, take uh, s for uh, string input. That is uh, input. Input. And uh, this uh, one counter variable to count the number of integer uh, to count the number of integer that contains in a string. Okay. For example, uh, uh, this is my a b not a b. This is my characters like uh, this contains zero. The counter will count this zero as one. If it contains uh, two zeros, it will count as a two. Okay. Basically, it is used to count the uh, number of integers that uh, string contain. And after that, uh, we'll use the uh, one more variable that is char in string. Char in string. S T R. Okay. Uh, this will count the number of characters that string contains. Like here also, I'll just uh, use. Q W E R. This will count the uh, count the uh, number of char characters in the string. Okay. After that, uh, we'll use for loop in a in a given string that is S. After entering uh, in a for loop, we will uh, will check that we'll check that if i dot is numeric. Okay. Is numeric. This this condition will check uh, if this contain Zero. At the first, it will check for Q. Q is number. No, this is not number. W not number. The, when it comes to zero, it will check the mm -hmm. zero is uh, numeric. Yes, it is numeric. Then we have to just increment the counter value. Okay, by one. When string contains uh, integer number, it should uh, uh, come come in the uh, this. It should uh, the loop. The condition comes to be true. Okay. If the condition is not true, if condition is not true, then it should go to the else. In else, what we are going to do that uh, we will count the number of characters. Here it is four. Then it should uh, the number of char should be four. Okay. Here char uh, char okay char char is char plus. We'll just increment by one. If uh, the uh, i is uh, char, then it will increment the char a uh, char instead. Okay. After that checking. Uh, this conditions uh, will uh, come out of the loop. Then we'll uh, go. You will check that. We'll check that counter. Counter is greater than one, or counter is equal to equal to zero. Uh, let's uh, suppose uh, I have more than here. I have zero four. Okay, zero four. Uh, not zero four. I will just uh, put any random number. Okay, zero three. Uh, for example, uh, here when it comes here, now the counter value is 
टू बिकॉज इट कंटेन्स टू न्यूमेरिक वैल्यू जीरो एंड थ्री हाँ वैन इट कम्स हियर इट विल चेक दैट काउंटर इज ग्रेटर दैन वन येस इट इज ग्रेटर दैन वन बिकॉज इट शुड नॉट हैव ग्रेटर दैन वन वन नंबर इट शुड नॉट बी मोर देन वन इफ इट इज मोर देन वन इट शुड नॉट कम इट शुड नॉट द कंडीशन शुड नॉट बी ट्रू ओके वी कैन नॉट अपेंड दिस एनी वैल्यू इफ इट इज इट हैज द थ्री द दिस देंथ ऑफ दिस कैरेक्टर्स आर फोर वी कैन नॉट अपेंड दिस फोर हियर बिकॉज द वी हैव टू जस्ट मेक दिस एज अ फोर द लेंथ ऑफ दिस स्ट्रिंग स्ट्रिंग इज लेंथ ऑफ दिस कैरेक्टर्स आर फोर एंड इट शुड इट शुड put out uh, it should be uh, as a 4 it should not be any any other value like 3 uh, 4 okay if the counter is greater than 1 uh, or it it is 0 uh, then we have to just print simply minus 1 if it is not if it is not uh, what uh, my 1 uh, or 0 uh, then Here, what we have to do is here now we have to uh, concatenate that uh, string and inte integer. Okay, now my count here uh, here it is. Uh, sorry, yeah. Uh, let's suppose this example. Uh, this is my input Q W E R. The number of characters are four. Uh, when it goes to uh, is numeric. The num it count it count as one, okay. The counter is one now. When it comes here, it checks one is greater than one. No, the condition comes out to be false. Then it will go to the else condition. At at this point, we have to append the uh, needed value that is uh, length of the given string. Okay, to uh, append. The value we will just a uh, uh, equal not a it will yes equal to yes of minus one okay yes of minus one uh, what this what will do this will delete this minus one okay this will delete minus one. Uh, not minus one, sorry, last character. This will delete last character. After deleting last character, we have to concatenate the. Uh, mm, uh, we have used yes. Uh, we'll use here. Yeah, we'll use x or we'll use answer. We have to concatenate string plus integer, the counter value. Okay. To concatenate, we'll use format. Okay, that that will be uh, yes. Uh, not yes. That will be uh, uh, huh? Yes, that will be yes, and that will uh, that counter is now. Here we have to concatenate the char in string, the length of the characters. Okay, we have to concatenate length of the characters. After that, at the last. We have to print the uh, the last uh, last char of last number that is length. Oh, somewhere we have made a mistake. Uh, somewhere it is giving error. Oh, here we have used the same. Okay. Here, here we have used the same. Oh, sorry. Ah, uh, we forgot to. We forgot to give a uh, semicolon here. Ah, uh, not semicolon. Ah, uh, col. Single dash. Okay. Now we will run. 
uh, will uh, use this input okay q w e r 0 now it should print the 4 okay we got it the uh, correct output uh, we'll check with the uh, this given input it is a b c d till p and 1 it should give output as a 6 okay we'll run again from a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p and 1 it should give output as a 6 okay this was the question and it 